Okay, here's everything that happened in medicine healthcare today, and it is September 3rd. Wish me luck, I have an anatomy final tomorrow. Starting us off, the CDC has now announced they're going to be having a meeting when it comes to their immunization panel, and it's going to be September 18th and September 19th. They're going to be going over some of the data in regards to the vaccines, as well as potentially changing some of their recommendations for vaccinations like RSV, hepatitis, and other things like COVID. If you don't want to miss any of the news and stay up to date regularly, or if you just want more information that's detailed with all the links and everything, you can find that the link in my bio to my Substack. or if you want to help support the page, there's some ways for you to do that there as well. After yesterday's article with RFK Jr. being targeted by nine former CDC directors, he's now written his own op-ed. He defended his decision-making process for everything that he's done over the last couple months, and on top of that, he's now said that he's planning on moving the CDC in more of a direction that's focused on things like infectious disease. We have a new study out of the UK as well, suggesting that individuals who were diagnosed with COVID and started metformin had a 64% less likely chance of developing long COVID. And lastly, we have a study in regards to phone use and hemorrhoids risks. Essentially, when accounted for other variables, they found that individuals who were sitting on the toilet and were using their cell phone had the highest likelihood of developing hemorrhoids with about a 46% higher risk compared to the control. If you made it this far, once again, I have an anatomy final tomorrow and I'm definitely not ready for it, but decided to make this video anyways.